welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back. We're going to be making Instapot chicken and rice. We're going to use some extra virgin olive oil, garlic salt, Mrs. Dash. We're going to use some garlic, some cream of mushroom. You can use cream of chicken or cream of celery. We're going to use two cups of this chicken broth. We're get, we've got about three pounds of chicken tenders that I've just diced up into bite-sized pieces there. About a fourth of a cup of a red onion. We've got a cup of bell peppers, red, yellow, and orange. You can add as much of the bell peppers and onions that you want or don't add them at all. Peas and carrots. You can use green beans. You can use mixed vegetables, whatever you like. Here is your shot of everything we're going to use. Let's get into potting. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this on saute mode. 30 minutes doesn't matter because it's not going to take us that long. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some olive oil in there. And I left it sitting on the other side. Hold on. All right. So now we're going to put that olive oil in there. We're going to put in a couple of tablespoons. All right. And then we're going to get that chicken in there. And we're just going to let this saute for a couple of minutes. And then we're going to add a couple more ingredients, okay? You can add more chicken in this if you want to, but we just want to start it to browning. That's what we want to do. We're not going to give it a full cook, but we just want it to get to browning, okay? So I'll be back in two minutes. Also to this at this time, I'm, I am going to go ahead and put in that uh, garlic salt, about a tablespoon of that, and about a tablespoon of Mrs. Dash, okay? Season to your family's liking. All right, and then I'm just going to give that a little juice, and we're just going to let this start cooking, and then in another minute, I'm going to give it two minutes of starting to cook, and then I'm going to add in a couple of more ingredients, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I went on ahead and put that onion and bell pepper in there. Let's get that to going with it. Let's build on these flavors. I am at this time going to go ahead and I'm going to put that garlic in there as well. And I'm going to put in and it's I'm going to put in about a tablespoon and this is another one of those times you put in as much as you want or as little or admit it all together, okay? Then I'm going to give it a nice little juice again and I'm going to let this go for another minute, minute and a half, okay? Okay, I'll be right back. All right, I just put in the rice. The can of cream of mushroom. I'm going to go in with those vegetables. I'm going to pour in, in the rice, I put in a cup and a half. And then I'm going to go in with about a cup. I need another cup of vegetable, not vegetable, but of chicken broth. I only have one cup in there. We're going to put in another cup. But we're also going to go ahead and put in half a cup of water. All right. I'll be right back. All right, now I'm going to go in with that other cup of that chicken broth. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we're going to give this a nice little jush. I'm going to stir all of that up. Make sure all your rice is well covered. If you need to add a little extra water, then add a little extra water to this. But all pieces of rice have got to be covered because if they're not, this is not going to be as yummy as you want it to be. The rice is not going to get completely done and you're going to have hard bits. Okay? So now I'm going to put the lid on. I'll be right back. Okay, I had it sauteing the whole time, so I'm going to cancel that. We're going to put it on pressure cook. We're going to cook it for 27 minutes. Okay? Because when if we're using white rice, you could cook this cooked in about seven minutes. But because I'm using brown rice, it takes longer to cook. We're going to need to give it a complete 25 minutes minimum. And I always give mine a couple of extra because the pot is pretty full. All right, so I'll be back. And don't forget to remember to turn the venting off, okay? We want it to be sealed. You want to make sure you turn it to the seal part. All right, I'll see you in about 27 minutes. Okay, 
chicken and rice is done. Look at that. You can add cheese to this. This is absolutely a delicious dish. I'm going to pop. Look, you can't see her that good. She's good and smoky. But I'm going to plate her up and let you see what she looks like. I'll be right back. And there she is. Chicken and rice. Yum, yum, yum. Absolutely delicious. Things made easy with Gigi. All day, every day. And if you don't want as much liquid in yours as I have in mine, just cut back. Instead of two cups of the uh, chicken broth, use one. Or don't add the water. This is just the way I like it. Everybody be blessed and stay safe. We'll see Gigi on the next one. Take care, you guys.